so here we have a spherical surface okay the only thing is you don't have charge inside uh, the sphere you just have the charge on the surface so it's a spherical shell so like say for instance if this is your sphere okay say this is the center here okay and uh, let me okay x y z okay so that your charge so there's charge on the surface here so anywhere else so that means the charge density would be zero except on a thin shell when r equals big capital r okay so that means the char the uh, the uh, uh, volume charge density okay is going to be proportional to the gamma function or sorry the direct delta function r minus capital r why because because that tells you that if you are here the charge is zero if you are here the charge is zero if you are here the charge is zero but once you are here that's when you have charge so it kind of kills everywhere inside the sphere except on the surface okay it ensures that the charge density vanishes everywhere except one except one r equal to capital r which is here that's where that's one r equal capital r okay now um so basically then what i have uh, i have i'm supposed if i integrate my rho d tau okay i'm supposed to get my total charge what's my total charge my total charge is sigma now remember this sigma is in coulombs per meter square so to get to the total charge i would have to multiply it by the area of the sphere right because coulomb per meter square if i multiply it by meter square i get coulombs okay so so let's say that rho now keep in mind i know that it's proportional to delta r minus r but there could be a multiplicative constant here that i don't know what it is and i'm supposed to find it so i'm gonna call that uh, sorry let me call it uh, something other than a because i used a for the area so i'm gonna call that why is this slow i'm gonna call that k okay i'm gonna call that k uh, and uh, this is going to be delta r minus r and now uh, to ensure to find what k is i'm going to integrate this just like i said in green right so now i'm continuing on with the uh, row which is k delta r okay d tau this has to equal sigma times the area of the sphere I know what the area of the sphere is it's 4 pi r squared or you could do a double integral on the area of the sphere right okay now uh, uh, we know what d tau is this is gonna be k integral delta r minus r, right what's d tau d tau is uh, in spherical coordinates it's sine theta okay dr so actually let me uh, yeah dr d theta d phi and this has to equal to sigma 4 pi r squared and i know that this is a triple integral so uh, my r is going from 0 to r my theta is going from 0 to pi and my d phi is going from 0 to 2 pi okay now notice this integral right 
will get me what? Uh, will get me. Oh, I forgot the R squared, by the way. There's an R squared here. Uh, it's R squared. Okay, so uh, if I take the black part, right, this is just going to give me the value of the function f of r, which is r squared, evaluated at r equal capital R. So the black part will just give me r squared. Okay, now, uh, so, so then I have left 0 to 2 pi d phi and then 0 to pi sine theta d theta and this has to equal sigma times 4 pi r squared now notice that r squared crosses out with r squared okay and the uh, integral of d5 from 0 to 2 pi will just be 2 pi sine theta from 0 to pi will just be 2 that's how you get the solid angle on a sphere to be 4 pi okay oh we forgot the k what we're trying to find here yeah there was a k here we're trying to find what that k is so k times 2 pi times 2 has to equal sigma times 4 pi notice that the 4 pi crosses out with 4 pi and I get my k to equal sigma so now plug that into the uh, row, function row, because we are being asked what row R is, right? So that means uh, row R is equal K, which turned out to be sigma times delta, okay, R minus capital R. Now, uh, of course, the units work out beautifully, right? Uh, let's verify that. Uh, uh, this is in uh, Coulomb per meter square, and we said that the Dirac delta function is 1 over meter, because when you multiply it by dr, which, or dx, which is in meters, right? you're supposed to get um, you're supposed to get uh, uh, unitless dimensionless so 1 over meter times meter gets you nothing so this is 1 over meter and uh, uh, if you multiply these you get coulomb per meter cube which is exactly what rho is in right charge per unit volume so so this verifies that the units do indeed work out Questions?